Welcome to my 2022 setup tour. This is going to have everything from the hardware to all the miscellaneous stuff that I use daily to create my videos. In the description, there's going to be a huge list of all of my PC components and all of my peripheral components. So if you see something in the video that I forget to mention, it will all be down in the description below. With that being said, let's jump in to my setup. For the peripherals on my desk, there's not a lot that's changed throughout the years. I have the Razer Huntsman Elite Keyboard, the Razer Viper Mouse, and I'm still using the Razer Kraken speakers. To the left of my keyboard, I still have a Stream Deck, which is currently just in media control mode. I have some other profiles on my Stream Deck for when I'm recording or for when I'm editing in Photoshop or Premiere Pro. On my desk, I also keep my Scuff Impact controller, which is the controller I use for when I'm playing video games. The newest additions to my desk setup is going to be my new monitor, which is on the left, as well as the new camera mount and the Elgato key light. Let's start off with the camera setup. I have my old Rode PSA 1 boom arm with a Joby camera attachment that attaches to my Canon Rebel SL3 DSLR. On top of my camera, I have a Rode VideoMic Pro, which I don't actually use when I'm recording at my desk. But if there's ever a time, which there has been, where I've been out and about and filming, I've been using that mic. And I have the Elgato key light, which comes with its very own stand as well. And that's what lights my face in videos, so I don't have weird shadows going on anymore like I used to back in the day. Oh, and I have a small little Insignia card reader. Also on my desk, I have the exact same blue compass attached to my Shure SM7B. And I have a new headset this year, which is the Audio-Technica M70X, which is powered by a Scarlett 2i2 that sits on top of my PC tower. And what powers my entire desk setup is my PC. Not a lot has changed in the appearance of it because I have the same PC case, the same Corsair fans, and the same CPU cooler. What's new in the PC is my brand new 570E motherboard. I have a brand new CPU, which is the Ryzen 5900X. And then I have a bunch of new storage, which is a two terabyte NVMe M.2 drive, which is attached to the motherboard. And all of my SSD and HDD hard drives have been upgraded to hold more storage or more files. So whether that's games or video files, I can hold more on my PC. The RAM has stayed the exact same and the graphics card has been upgraded to a 3080 Ti. And the only difference between my 3080 Ti and a 3090 is my 3080 Ti has half the VRAM that a 3090 has. The light and color theme of my setup tends to be matching whatever desktop wallpaper I run animated through Wallpaper Engine. So for my PC and my peripherals, I all have a color scheme matching kind of the background of the rainy atmosphere that my desktop wallpaper is. And speaking of desktop wallpapers, my monitor on the left is my brand new Asus monitor. I honestly don't know what it exactly is called, but it is a 2K IPS 170 Hertz monitor, which is a huge step up from what I was running last year with just a 1080 monitor. I'm gaming in higher quality and also recording in higher quality. And what I plan to do in the future is my monitor on the right. I am most likely going to upgrade it to the exact same monitor as my 2K monitor, or I might even look into a 4K monitor as well for the future. The other lighting I have in my room is I have a couple LED strips, one behind my display case, one attached to my desk, and then I have my normal room lights, which are Philips Hue bulbs that I control with my Google Home. I also tend to have these match my setup, or if I'm just casually gaming, studying, or just hanging out in my room, I usually have them on a warm white setting because with my room colors, it feels very cozy. Something you may have noticed around my room is my audio acoustic panels. Not only do they actually look pretty cool and make my room look a little bit more interesting. They also improve the quality of audio because my room used to really echo before I got these a couple years ago and ever since I got them recording audio has been a lot better. We'll start off with some more of the decorative part of my setup. In my display case I have my VR controllers on the bottom, a very very old original Elgato, I have a couple PS4 and PS3 games, mainly Call of Duty discs, since most of my games are digital downloads, a signed Lando Norris card, which is pretty cool, and then I have my Gamer Subs collection, used Code Wild by the way. I also have my GoPros, which I've been using quite recently, and then on top I have some of the special edition Juggernog Control Freaks. 
in my closet, which is where the rest of my hardware setup is, I just have my standard shoe rack, I have my clothes, and then up top I have some hats, some snacks, and some extra gamer subs cups. I also have my audio setup in here, which is the Yamaha audio deck. It's what powers my Shure SM7B and then transmits it to my computer. That's how I record my audio through my mic. Beside that, I have a PS4 and then on the top shelf, I have a PS3. On the bottom shelf, I have a Wii that is not plugged in and then a bunch of extra controllers, a bunch of extra setup equipment, and a bunch of control freaks. And there's a power bar in the corner. The reason I keep this stuff in my closet is because if it was by my actual desk setup, it would look extremely messy. So I just put it in my closet, I can close my door, and then it's like it's never there. Cable management is important to me because I like a neat and tidy room. So the cable management under my desk is done in a way where the cables are kind of messy if you're actually under the desk and looking at them. But if you're just kind of hanging out in my room, laying on the bed, sitting at the desk, there's not going to be this giant bundle of cables that's going to be giving you a bad taste in your mouth when you're looking around the room. I try to keep it as clean as possible at all times. That's just my personal preference. In my bookcase towers beside my bed, I just have a couple books on one side, books on the other. Just beside my desk in this cupboard, this is where I have all of my extra setup equipment. So extra cables, extra scuffs, extra mic equipment, you name it, it's all in this drawer. You might have noticed on the walls, I actually have the exact same Black Ops 3 perk posters that I've had since Black Ops 3. I think this year they were finally discontinued, so you can't buy them anymore. And then where there was the fourth poster is now my custom wild painting which i got commissioned for me just so it sits in the background and looks really nice in videos and if i didn't know what my youtube channel was it is still something that i would totally hang up on my wall which is what i was aiming for when i got it painted because eventually one day i'm probably not going to be doing youtube anymore but I also wanted the painting to be able to like outlive my YouTube channel. So if I stop doing YouTube one day, I still have a painting that's pretty cool and also has some cool sentimental value and sentimental meaning behind it. And with all of that being said, that is my setup from top to bottom. All the changes that I've made within the last year. This is pretty much the exact setup I'm going to be using for 2022. I can't see myself making many upgrades other than just my second monitor. So next year, most likely not a lot's going to change, but we'll see. Anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. And as always, I'm about to head out. And if there is one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.